Hi guys, it's Ms. Tejada. I hope everyone is doing well. I am here with Mr. Mejia Nilsson. Hello, Mr. Mejia Nilsson? Yeah, yeah, I'm here. My bad, my bad, I'm here. Whoa, are you okay? Yeah. What are you doing? Yeah. Last night, man, I was on Fortnite till like three, four in the morning. It was the most lit match ever. You have no idea. Oh, man. Nelson, it sounds like you need some tips on time management. You mean like, like daylight saving times kind of thing? What? No. Here's your tip so you can mentally prepare yourself. You absolutely need to get out of the mindset of Fortnite and you need in to get into work mode. You need to make believe like you're on your way to work, like you're on your way to IEL. So what do you do? You wake up, you wash your face, you shower, brush your teeth, you dress, and you eat breakfast to get energy. We need that energy to focus. This is what's going to help you. Oh, I feel so much better. You're definitely right. Okay, I'm good. I'm, I'm in the right headspace. Tip number one was awesome. I'm ready to work. Awesome. So what I was trying to explain to you earlier was that, Nelson. Yeah, sorry. Okay, whatever. Never mind. So what I was talking about was that in order to explain that... <laughs> Nelson, my, my bad. Look, look, look at this. Look at this. No, 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 no. <laughs> this is not working. This is not working. You it need just... no. You need a designated workspace. Like wherever you are is not working. Like you're not focused in our meeting right now. How do how do I do that? I'm gonna tell you all about it right now. You need a designated workspace. So what does that mean? You need to find a space that you will use for work, where you can sit down comfortably, you're not distracted, you have snacks available, you have some water, and you have everything that you need for work. This is going to help you to focus and absolutely forget about your fortnight sessions. I got you. Mr. Halle, you are definitely right. I have my work here. I have my cup of coffee. I feel way better to work. What, what was it you were trying to say earlier? Uh-huh, yeah. What? Mr. Halle. What? What was it? What are you working on? What's going on? I'm sorry. We took so long earlier in our prior conversation that I'm just, I'm backed up. I'm overwhelmed. I have a lot of counseling reports that I need to do. I have kids to touch base with. I, I can't I have a lot going well, on. Okay. okay, I hear you. You helped me out so much this morning. I think it's my turn to return that favor. You're going to do the work for me? No, 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 but I can help you by giving you a tip on how to set goals. I'm listening. So let's start by setting goals. The way we can do that is by first looking at your work. Which one seems the most important? Let's do that one first. Now, because you have so much to do and it looks impossible to finish it all in one day, let's set a timer. How long are you going to spend on that work? And then how much time are you going to spend on the others? And then at what time are you going to finish? Make sure you're being really effective during your work time. So the tip that you gave me, tip number two, will be super important during this time. Wow, that was super helpful. I am done with all of my work for the day, for today. Nice. Wait, so what, what are you working on now? I thought you said you were done. Yeah, but just because I'm done for to, with today's work doesn't mean I don't I can't catch up on tomorrow. So I have stuff to prep for tomorrow. Okay, can I give you just one last tip? Just one more. Really? I'm you like You helped me out all morning. I did great. The last tip helped you. Just let me do one more. I promise it all. Fine, 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 fine. So you finished all of today's work. And I know it may seem like the most effective and the best thing to do is get started on tomorrow's work. However, if you really think about it, if you start doing tomorrow's work, 
Then when tomorrow comes, you'll be doing the day after's work. And then the day after that, you'll be doing the day after that. And you get stuck in this cycle where you're just working and working and working. So it's important to always set a time where you will stop working for the day. Whatever time that is, whether it's 4 o'clock, 4.30, you set a timer. When that time comes, it's time for your brain to detach. The way that we can detach is by doing something that you like to do that is non-work related. Whether that's listening to music, watching Netflix, anything that you like to do that is not work related is what you should do during that time. Wow. I feel so relaxed. I'm ready to just like chill and do like not think about work right now. Nice. So now maybe you can tell us that message you've been trying to tell us throughout the whole video. No, forget about the message. I'm done. I'm detaching. Bye guys.